Hey everybody, I've got a question for you. Do you have trouble having conversations at home about faith, the Bible, or what the Bible teaches? Yes? Well, let's face it, you're not alone. All of us parents struggle with just how to have those conversations with our kids. We're concerned we're going to bore them away from the faith, not be relevant to them, or even teach them some inaccurate claim. While all these feelings are real and should be considered, we at First Baptist also believe that you, assuming that you're a follower of Jesus, are the very best person to pass along your faith to your kids. Yes, Sunday school teachers, Awana leaders, and youth pastors are wonderful helpers in this endeavor, but no one is equipped to pass along faith in Jesus to your kids like you. So with that being said, we've developed balloon Bible studies to help you on this journey of having faith conversations in your home with your kids. These Bible studies will come with a Bible story, a balloon activity, and a coloring page. Our hope with, give, with giving boxes to families in our community is that you as parents will feel equipped and ready to talk about your faith with your kids. You can sign up at the link attached to this video and pick up your box at First Baptist Canyon Lake between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Monday, August 17th. If that doesn't work for you, reach out to us and we'll make sure and connect with you somehow. If for some reason you forget to sign up, don't worry about that either. Come get a box anyway and we'll make sure and have plenty. Finally, we would be remiss if we didn't emphasize that the best place from which to share Christianity is a personal relationship with Jesus. If you have never given your life over to Jesus and become his follower, it's a simple but weighty commitment. Simply put, we can look around us and see that things are not right. They are not as they should be. Even we are not as we should be. We've missed the mark of the life that God made us to live and we've fallen short of His glory, His perfection, and His holiness. Because we have missed that mark, we are separated from Him and His life-giving purposes. However, God demonstrated His incredible love for us by sending Jesus to die the death that we deserved for our sin. Not only that, but He did all of this while we were still sinners. He didn't say, clean yourself up, then I'll die for you. He died for us while we were still sinners, while we were still in our mess. Because of Jesus' death and resurrection, trusting Him to save us from the result of our sin is worth it. He proved that He's trustworthy. All we must do now is confess with our mouth, from our heart, that Jesus is Lord and King, and believe that God raised Him from the dead, and we will be saved from our sin and into a meaningful life living for Him with every breath, every thought, and every action. If you are a parent watching this and you acknowledge your sin and want Jesus to save you, Pray to Him and confess that He is now your Lord and leader and believe that God truly raised Him from the dead and you will be saved. Reach out to us if you've made this decision so that we can help you with next steps as you begin your journey walking with Him and leading your kids to live for Him. Hey, thanks for watching this video and we hope that you uh, jump into these uh, balloon Bible studies and we look forward to seeing you and partnering with you as you teach your kids about Jesus. Thank you.